Hello and welcome to vlog number 53. This week I'm going to talk about the benefits of having deep brain stimulation surgery under general anaesthetic, as opposed to being awake during the operation. Contrary to popular belief, deep brain stimulation has been around for quite a long time and is not regarded as pioneering or leading edge surgery. It has been performed in the UK since the late 1980s. Up until recent years, the patient would have to be awake, although sedated, whilst the electrodes were placed within the brain, so that the effects of the surgery, and thus the correct positioning of the electrodes, could be verified by observing the patient and getting them to perform tasks, whilst the neurosurgeon stimulated areas of the brain using microelectrodes. Once the correct position of the microelectrodes has been established, then they are replaced with the electrodes, thus penetrating the brain for a second time. The problem here is not that the neurosurgeon doesn't know exactly where he needs to place the electrodes. It is that, up until recently, he had no other way of confirming that he had correctly positioned them in the exact location that he was aiming for. New developments in brain imaging and the installation of MRI equipment in the operating theatre have revolutionised the operation because now the neurosurgeon can see the position of the electrodes within the brain while he is actually placing them and is now able to position them with submillimetric precision without the patient having to be awake. This is a major step forward for prospective patients, many of whom are frightened off by the thought of having to be awake whilst having their brain tampered with. There is little doubt that the awake operation is a traumatic experience for the patient. Indeed, a Canadian friend of mine had DBS for cluster headaches and has since been diagnosed with post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD, caused by being awake during his operation. I was incredibly lucky to have been offered the asleep operation when I had my DBS in April 2016. I was so desperate to have the operation that I would definitely have gone ahead with it, even if I had had to be awake. But knowing that I would be asleep did give me a peace of mind and I never worried about the operation for a second. It gets better than that though. A sleep DBS also results in better outcomes for patients. A side effect of awake DBS is loss of fluency of speech and there is speculation that this is caused by the use of microelectrodes which require the brain to be penetrated twice for each electrode. A sleep DBS only penetrates the brain once per electrode, and patients who have a sleep DBS have improved speech compared to those who have a wake DBS. So, the asleep operation is less risky, has improved patient outcomes, is less stressful for the patient, and is faster and cheaper than the awake procedure. Sounds like a win-win situation to me. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or have a topic that you'd like me to cover in future vlogs, just leave me a message in the comments and I'll do my best to respond. Have a great week. See you next Friday.